Hey everybody, this is Coach Hart here. Um, today, I just wanted to go over some stuff I've been looking at with Doug Novak. Um, Doug Novak is the Bethel University coach, was a former D1 coach, and he runs what's referred to as drive and space. My team's been running a little bit more of a drive and space type offense this year. Uh, we're really young this year, and we're struggling. But we're, we're finding some good mileage on some of his actions. The thing I really want to focus on today is his fan series. I want to talk to you about his fan series out of a four-out, one-in, traditional dribble drive type alignment. And then a five-out alignment that I like to look at. So let's look at the common. Let's look at some of the actions here. So in fan action... One has the ball, and they make a pass to five. On that pass, two, two is going to cut through. Three will rise up, and one will fan. So on that action... Five will now look to drive this gap and play a two-man game reading X1 the defender. If X1 gives help, he'll pass to, to one. And then they get into what they refer to as penetrate pitch post. The reason why I'm liking this version with drive and space of Doug Novak is it makes your point guard be able to multiple directional penetrate with the dribble drive here. This player would automatically fill corner and he'd pretty much be obligated to middle drives. So now if X one was a late closeout and five was in the post and he went baseline five would fill behind what Doug refers to as an escape cut. And I have seen in my teams when X1 comes and say X5 is not open in this situation and they cut off X, X1 and he's not able to, to shoot it or drive it, or if he drives and he's not able to get a layup, what I've seen is the ability to do second cuts now because they're, they're, and we go one to five here. And that just, again, now he fills. If X1 goes here, X5 goes here, we have the ability to throw it back to him again. It's giving us multiple directions to attack the defense. Now let's take a look at running it out of a five-out alignment, which I really like as well. So the, the alignment that we do here is we have a double gap between one and two. And instead of four being in the dunker spot, we put him wide here. So you only have a single gap between five and four, a single gap between four and three, and a single gap. It's a unique spacing. You can do a lot of the modern five out stuff that I like, play through your trailer, double drags. Um, hit and play back screens and down screens and splits. But let's look here again at the fan. So if we go one to five pass, two is going to sprint to corner. So we're going to have a little log jam over here a little bit. One will fan and five will drive the gap again. Four will be filling. Three will be here. So that's what our spacing tempo would look like. So if we go five to one on a quick pitch here, so one gets the ball, five's going to penetrate pitch post, read one's penetration. If one doesn't shoot it and he drives, then five will fill out. If one passes to four or three, that's when we start getting into our dribble drive, drive and space attack. So I thought I'd just show you guys the fan series of 
Doug Novak. Hope you enjoyed that little quick tutorial there on the Doug Novak fan series.